will truly shock you with his psychotic nature of unmedicated variety. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, fresh from his second escape, from his second commitment to a mental institution, please welcome Redmond David Apocalypse. <laughs> This is reality, baby. I'm closing in your face. You have to deal with it. There is no escape. That has been called. What the hell is going on? <laughs> this is like lemmings or something. All right, ladies and genitalia, before I begin, I need a volunteer from the audience, and I do believe that it is you. Rise up and come forward. Take your place in the coming apocalypse. Yes, you have to. Wow, what a party. Yes, you have to. You must. Okay, now I realize you understand that you're not used to being on this end of one of these things. And I understand you're not used to it from being for recreational purposes. Well, what I need you to do is start at the top, work your way down, take the strap on the left, attach it to the ring on the right, pull it through, and reattach it onto itself. No, I'm pointing. You just can't see. You can't see my fingers. <laughs> take them all the way as tight as they go. Oh, yes. Ladies and genitalia, in your lifetime, there are going to be people who are going to try to tell you what to do. They're going to try to tell you what not to do, what to think, what not to think, what to believe, what not to believe, what to worship, not what, what not to worship, what to wear, what not what to wear. And you know, folks, they're going to come up with all kinds of insidious little devices, all kinds of little social epitaphs, if you will. They'll come up with social restraints, psychological restraints, and of course, physical restraints. But you know, ladies and gentlemen, there's a lighter side to all this. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm, you're in control now. Okay, take this take this strap here, known as the crotch strap. Pull it through. Back there, attach it on the one of the loops at the bottom. Don't get flustered or anything. Now the key words here is snug, not tight. <laughs> okay, now bring it back up through. And attach it right there, yeah. <laughs> but you know, there's a lighter side to all of this. And that side is escape. You can escape from their psychological restraints, their social restraints, and of course their physical restraints. Take my right hand, which is on the left side of my body. Attach it to my left hand, which is on the right side of my body. Take the strap, put it through the hole, reattach it to itself. Yes, there is escape. All it takes is a little bit of pain, a little motivation, a little effort, a little education. Okay, snug, not tight. <laughs> and you know, that escape comes because of one very special reason. There's a lot of people who try to deny the fact, but there is an us and a them. And you know the difference between us and them? Thank you very much. Let's have a hand for the new admission. <laughs> I say the difference between us and them. I say it. The difference between us and them isn't that we're smarter than them. That might not be the case. It isn't that we're prettier than them, even though most of the time that's true. It's not that we're richer than them. Oh, yeah. Oh, but you know what the difference is between us and them? It's a very different kind of thing. The kind of thing that the people who deny there's an us and them can even, yeah, pretty cool. The kind of thing that the people that deny there's an us and them try to deny that it's even possible. The difference between us and them is plain and simply that we're just damn better than them. Yeah. Why would I always be them? Spaceship for the Sex Goddesses come on July 5th, 1998. I know where I'll be. 
I'm gonna have me a front row fucking seat for the apocalypse. Yes, the apocalypse, ladies and genitalia. And by that I don't mean Jesus Christ getting his way. Days of, can you hear him? Can you hear him off in the distance? Clippity cloppity, clippity cloppity, clippity cloppity. I hear four horsemen calling. And those four horsemen are war, famine, death, and Mr. Ed. And they're coming to pick your fucking shit up. That's the sound of them up. That's the sound of them coming right now. I hear them. Oh, Lord, I hear them. Help me preach or my pants are on fire. Let me hear a praise, Paul. Praise God! Amen, Pastor Frog! Yeah. <laughs> Just in case you wondered which hand it was I masturbate with, it is my secret third hand growing out of my hand. 